Hello friends, today we are going to install MySQL Workbench. Mm, actually we have already got PHP MyAdmin installed in XAMPP, but there are a lot of stuff that we can do with P, uh, Workbench also, and that is also a user friendly GUI based application. But before that let's test if it's a, uh, if our local host is working or not, and also we see that PHP MyAdmin is also working over here. You can use these settings also, but along with that you might need some of the GUI applications to work around and also uh, should be somewhat user friendly. Uh, no doubt PHP MyAdmin is a lot user friendly too, but uh, some of them also require some of the GUI applications. So let's start with GUI. Fine. So for that um, I have read a lot of applications and a lot of uh, documentations I'm going to share with you people. Uh, this is a MySQL documentation, a guide to use MySQL apt repository for Ubuntu or any Linux operating system. So I have read a tons of information given here. The entire guide is so much useful that you can uh, install a lot of things from command line itself so let's start with what we are going to install for that we are going to install additional mysql components and products so let's start terminal i'm going to drag my terminal to main screen and then I'm going to bring it back. Uh, let's see what we can do it. Hmm. Okay. So let's do it with first and foremost command is app get update. With that, I'm typing my password. Why update is already known by you. Uh, because it updates entire repository and also a lot of applications and packages or softwares are getting updated day to day with version number if any of the things are being missing then it will update the latest version of uh, applications and everything um, this will also give a good start with our application that is mysql workbench if, it, if any of the latest version is available on internet and my update or repository is having an older version then it might happen that it will install an older version of uh, software or applications onto my Ubuntu operating system but instead of that if I start using this command sudo apt get update it will start uh, updating the packages as you can see over here it start updated updating the things and then after after updating these things mm, it will also ensure a lot of things and along with version numbers and everything so when we install it the next step or second step or third step it will start doing all the things that are needful from internet itself so let's wait and see what we can get with these things okay sorry for these things okay so I think it will be installed in approximately 8 to 5 seconds so I thought let me pause it but it's okay not to pause it then also I got some message on my mobile phone. Sorry for the interrupt. Okay, so here you see the entire um, stream has been fetched and uh, app stream ha cached completed, but some of the metadata ignored due to errors. Doesn't matter if it got some errors or something. Never mind. Let's start with our work. So after getting updated, mm, let's start with installation. So the first command for installation 
should be okay so the first command as per the documentation that I actually showed it to you should be apt get sudo sudo apt get install workbench no, not workbench directly mysql minus workbench minus community and I'm pressing it enter let's see what's going to happen okay it's not working mysql have I done anything mysql workbench community okay not let's see get this command okay so here you see it's going to download 37.4 mbs of archive files so it's going to take a long long while to download it uh, also along with that uh, it's going to install all these required packages that are dependent on or are uh, useful for installation so we do not have to worry about anything it will just take care of itself and start downloading it okay so let's see and press enter so i'm going to press y and then enter I think it's going to take a while for downloading the entire packages because this is the first time I'm going to do this thing so I'll be back after it gets downloaded because it says that approximately 15 minutes of time it will take to download so let's hold on a minute and then I'll be back okay now I think it might be nearer to installation actually it took a lot while to get downloaded my internet speed is too slow over here but anyways it's done mm, it's now getting installed all the packages and after getting these packages installed um, i would like to tell you people that we need to also install one more package uh, this is the pack uh, but before that i would like to say because it's given in the quick guide in mysql website so we need to install it but i think it might have already installed from all these packages uh, you see over here it might have installed it but as a formality we also once again install those packages um, so as to work it in a correct way Fine. okay so after it gets installed all these things and we get command prompt we will install that package too no doubt it has already installed it but still as a formality purpose we will once again install that package if any updates has been done then we can get those updates from for that package uh, what is that library is we are going to install is it's a shared client library for mysql workbench which might be useful for you if you are not set up today you might have to do it tomorrow so Mm, you can see over here it's getting uh, setting up the entire clients and installing and installing and installing I hope so it's just quite easier for you uh, made it very clear and easier for you people mm, apt get okay but before that let me clear the screen and now apt get install lib mysql client 20 the version the latest version that is available is 20 so let's see yeah, 1 2 3 you can see over here with a simple 1 2 3 steps we have installed the entire things fine and it's already installed over here and nothing to install it so for that now let us revise certain concepts that we have done okay so let us revise the entire thing i have written it for you people the step one was updating our repository for ubuntu the command which we fired over to the terminal was this command 
Step 2 was installing MySQL Workbench over the terminal itself. So this was the command that we actually fired and the last shared client library which was already installed by this command but for formality purpose we again installed it and we found that no set, uh, uh, set to manually installed and uh, no it's the newest version so as to make confirmation but still we also installed this thing and after that thing you can see the MySQL workbench might be working. Let's see MySQL workbench is there or not. I think it might have to up mm. so I think it, uh, I need to log in and log out because some of the problems have occurred due to a lot of experiments in my Ubuntu operating system but it might have worked it correctly. Mm. Let's see and try it. Again, MySQL Workbench. So here you see. Um, Actually, the icon has already already been created, but my desktop um, is not getting updated. So never mind. We can come uh, fire this command for right now purpose. But it, I am pretty sure that it will work in dashboard also. Um, I need to log out and log in again so as to take all these six things um, in a correct loop. But at your instance, I think that it will work. It will be very good and way after that I'm going to connect to a database or manage connection let's see and do it um, this my do not use remote management connection is this thing uh, password as usual it should be some password to be given and let's test the connection Continue anyway. SSL not established, but uh, I'm getting this message. MySQL was made with the parameter defined this for this connection, and the connection was successful. Um, I'm going to close this connection right now, and then I can connect to database, whichever database I want to connect. So right now, the entire there is no database in my. Um, MySQL PHP my admin or in MySQL so I'm not going to worry about but in a way you can work around with these instances and local instances and remote instances over here and then you can plan your database itself thank you all thank you for watching this entire video and uh, I hope so I have cleared all the doubts that I could actually um, from my all hopes um, do watch this video again if any problem exists to comment me on this video along with that do come uh, subscribe my video uh, and channel if you wish or you can like or share this video or you can add it to your playlist also thank you all thank you for watching this is neeraj from india thank you